So to finish off our introduction to C, we're going to do two example programs that do something non-trivial. The first program we're going to write is countlines.c. And what that's going to do is it's going to count the number of new lines, characters in a file, which gives us the number of lines that the file contains. So the first variable we're going to declare is c. That's going to be our input character. And we're going to read that from, from the input. And we're going to have a counter for the number of new lines. We'll call that NL. So we're going to set up a while loop that's going to run. And we're going to read characters from the file until we get to the end of file character. So in the while loop, we're going to get a character from input. And that's what this does. And then even though we're doing an assignment, that assignment returns a value. It's still an expression. And that's going to be the value of the character that's, that C now holds. So C will hold that character, but that expression will also return that value. So we can go ahead and check it. We don't have to have a separate call, then check. We can do it all in once. And in our loop, we're going to check to see if the input character is a new line. And if so, we're going to increment the counter. And we could put the actual ASCII value, but whenever you're comparing characters, just use the character literal. And that's still a single character literal, even though there's two characters in that inside the single quotes. Since we have a backslash, that's the escape character. So that character literal stands for the new line character. And if they're equal, we increment. So now we're done with the while loop because we've gone through every character in the file. And we'll print how many new lines we have. So let's compile that. We'll use the C11 standard. All warnings, pedantic mode. And we misspelled printf. I guess I should say that I misspelled printf. That's good. So now I have this executable. And if I run this, nothing happens. Or it seems that nothing happens. But actually, what's going on here is I didn't give it input. So it's assuming that it's going to read from standard input. So I'm going to type some stuff and remember count lines is going to run until we get to the end of file character to tell it that I'm at the end of the file. I do control D that inputs a end of file character onto standard input. And you'll notice now the file exits. It says there were eight new lines. Now in Unix, I can also send files to this program. And there's two ways I can do that. I can say a dot out. And then this is important less than that's a redirect symbol which we'll talk about later in the semester in 220. it's important that you use less than do not use greater than here so we're redirecting the file count lines dot c into that program and when i do that it counts the new lines in that program another way i can do that is i can display 
the contents of that file using the cat command. And you see there's all the output. And I can pipe that using the vertical bar to my program. And that also will send all the input to that program. So we've seen three different ways to get input there. Whichever way you use is up to you. But the important thing is, is the way this works is it reads from standard input, one character at a time. And we can check to see that it gives us the, the right output by using the WC command, which gives us the word count of the file. And one of the output that I get is the number of lines, which is 23, which lines up with how many new lines we had in that file.